local and butyrol issue is hurting boxing and so how much? Uh, yeah, you know, it is hurting because, you know, uh, a lot of people are thinking that, you know, uh, all boxers are the same, that all boxers do that and uh, it's a bad, uh, you know, credibility for boxing because it makes us all uh, boxers look bad and, you know, but there's a lot of boxers out there that they're clean, you know, me, I'm always being clean and everything and I, the only thing I do is, you know, vitamins for my body, injection, that's it, but rather than that, you know, nothing else. The commission hasn't decided on, on punishment, I guess. What do you think should be the punishment? I, the truth, I, I wouldn't like to say it was a punishment or not, because you know, like you said, uh, how about we punish him and it's, it wasn't his fault, it's not, he actually didn't do nothing, it was because of the meat, you know, because how about if it happens to me one day that oh, I take something that I didn't know and they're going to punish me for something that I didn't do wrong, so I just, you know, yes, to, to investigate, to investigate uh, clearly and to see what actually happened and then maybe they could do something but you know I think that he's gonna maybe suspend it for a little bit because you know right now Canelo is a big name he's a, if they suspend it for a long time they're gonna lose, lose a lot of money right there so I think you know they're gonna be smart and just do something. Yeah, you can argue this is the biggest fight of your career people are still stuck on the Canberra Canelo subject mm -hmm. do you feel a little disrespected man like you're on, you're on your own path people still want to know what you think about Canelo I think they should just focus on your fight and, and you know it's a big fight for you so. Yeah, no, yeah, there's a big fight, you know, but, you know, uh, since the thing with Canelo going on and probably asked me to see if, if, if it happened to me, but, you know, I just, you know, I take, I don't respect nobody and I just try to answer as much as I can. Let's kill the Canelo questions, shall we? Leo, I know no, you're focused on this fight, um, but when you think about the future, mm -hmm. I know you're focused, mm -hmm. but is it your plan after you, after you beat, let's say, Mares, mm -hmm. do you want a unified title? Is there a Valdez, Selby, the winner between Gary Russell and Joseph Diaz? Are, are those one of the fighters that, you know, you want to fight and unify title with? Yeah, of course, yeah. You know, uh, I said that hopefully after I get this win, you know, against Mares, I want to unify. You know, I want to unify against Valdez, Gary Russell, or the winner, you know, Joseph Diaz, Lee Selby. And I also wanted the, f the third fight against Carl Frampton. That they've been wanting that fight too. If not, if it's hard to hard to make those fights or anything because of promoter things or something, uh, I say I want to move up in 130, 130, and look for another title right there, 130, and so that way I could be four division world champion, and cause that's my my goal right now. <laughs> Sí, no, la verdad que sí, es una, una gran carga, este, es difícil ir al gimnasio y mirar a mi papá así con dolor, que lo miro a veces durmiéndose, este, es bastante duro y todo, sí, sí a veces este, me, me siento desesperado a veces porque ya hemos buscado de todo para que él, este, su cuerpo ya no le duela, para que eso, pero no, no pueden encontrar la cura para que se, se le quite esos dolores, eso. Eh, es bastante duro, pero a la misma vez motivación, para así mismo yo lo motivo a él y le doy fuerza fuerzas para que él siga peleando y para que así salga adelante, so, y como dice, este, uno se tiene que ayudar para que Dios lo ayude y eso es lo que vamos a hacer. ¿Cómo te preparas mentalmente para poder enfrentar peleas como esta y toda esta atención mediática? Tienes que ver a tu papá todos los días. Sí, no, pues entrenar, entrenar fuerte en el gimnasio, siempre enfocado al 100% ir ahí, ya que si, y si, yo sé que si gano este triunfo, si gano esta victoria, este, para mi papá se, va a ser una gran alegría, una gran, este, ¿cómo dice? Es el empujoncito que, que él necesita para que él siga batallando, peleando por, por el cáncer y para que así lo, lo anima más a él para pelear por esos dolores que, que él siente. Sí.